Welcome to the IRIS workshop on bringing geometry methods to robot learning, optimization, and control. Robots are required to react to new situations, act in unstructured environments, and overcome uncertainty, which involves outstanding adaptation capabilities that rely on a harmonic interplay among planning, control, and learning. For success, a key ingredient is to empower algorithms by considering geometry of our formulations. Geometry is paramount to design robust, stable, and data efficient methods in robotics. This is the topic of this workshop, and we are excited to have experts in different fields to discuss the importance of geometry in robotics. Such as Luca Carlone. I'm the director of the Spark Lab at MIT, and the Spark Lab works in the broad area of robotics and autonomous systems. But in particular, we care about the perception and computer vision for robotics. Joan Sola. My name is uh, Joan Sola. I am a researcher at the Robotics Institute in Barcelona, uh, mostly doing state, state estimation for mobile robotics. Tayun Lee. You can see that uh, natural gradient phase, um, adaptive control, as shown in the very right side of the video, quickly adapts and converges toward the reference motion. Bruno Adorno. In these experiments, both robots communicate with each other, but just one of them has the information about the human hand pose. As a result, the formation is always a function of the human hand pose. Superjit Batasharaya. This just shows that uh, the, the simple shell complex search, uh, the S, S star search, uh, finds uh, paths that are much closer, uh, paths that are, that are much closer uh, both in terms of uh, cost or length. Maxim Likachev. Driving along the shortest path, then uh, you get a difference between uh, 264 seconds planning versus 62 seconds. If you just use a heuristic like a Euclidean distance heuristic and forget it, that's just not going to be solving it at all. Anastasia Verada. So this is uh, a shirt that is unfolded, this is a shirt that is uh, completely folded. Uh, we're going to construct a latent space representation of the state space of the objects. Mustafa Mukadam. My name is Mustafa Mukadam, and I'm a researcher at Facebook AI Research. Today I'm going to talk about how to design and learn reactive motion policies and get robots to move and do, do things like you see on this slide. Luigi Malaco. Uh, the damped KL Lagrange and damped KL Hamiltonian, which are uh, basically equivalent uh, dynamics, which however are associated with different uh, speed. This workshop is organized by Noemi Jacquier from KIT, Leonel Rosso from the Bosch Center for AI, Soren Halberg from DTU, Hans-Peter Schröcker from the University of Innsbruck, and Subrit Ra from MIT. We are fortunate to be sponsored by the Bosch Center for AI, to watch the invited talks and spotlights of the accepted papers and interact with the speakers, please visit our website.